In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a really, really good route combination that you can utilize from the Shotgun Y-Off Trips Pats formation in the New England Patriots playbook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, maybe this is your first time checking out one of my videos, what I do here is pretty simple. I um, enjoy learning about Madden, and so I like to share that with my members. And so basically what I do is I post four videos a day, every single day, on YouTube that are Madden 21 related in some type of tip, strategy, or concept that you can apply into your own game to help make you a better Madden player. So if you're interested in getting better at the game, I would encourage you to go to the bottom right-hand corner of your screen right now and click that subscribe button um, so that you can catch more of the videos. All right, guys, we are in Y Off Trips Pats in the New England Patriots playbook. This formation is really, really good. And there's a lot of different things that are very unique to just this formation that I think make it so, so, so effective. And so um, today I want to talk about one of my favorite plays from this formation, and that is the tight end whip play. Very, very simple play, but very, very effective. And we're going to be breaking it down against one of the better defenses in the game, the dollar three, two, six. Um, and we are going to be leveraging the cover um, the cover to uh, man meta. All right, so we're going to jump right in here. And we're going to basically, we have our purple zones or curl flat zones shaded to 20 yards. And we're going to be doing some shading and different things like that. But what you're going to notice is you see how these two post routes on the field in combination with this route to Shepard and this route to Lewis. It almost looks like this play is kind of the same play on both sides of the field. But notice that you can smart route both of these post routes. And see on the left side, it's going to make the post go only 5 yards. On the right side, it's going to make it go exactly 10 yards. Now, if I re-smart smart routed Vada Scantling's route, you'll see it would be just like this now this little quick route to the back is going to get really good separation against man-to-man -man as well the only thing that i like to do is i like to take shepherd on this play and you'll notice if i motion let's just say i motion Devonte adams over you'll see that he is going to now be on a corner route to the left side and i can just snap the ball and typically we'll be able to get man-to-man -man, uh, separation against man-to-man -man coverage that way as well. But what I wanted to show you really, really quickly here is what I like to do is I like to take Shepard and I just like to motion him to the left. And you'll see that it causes some issues with the man-to-man -man coverage. And what you're going to see is Shepard is going to beat man to the inside very, very easily for a quick little dot against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, what I like about this formation the most is I feel like this formation does a really, really good job of allowing you to create a lot of different route combinations with a lot of different motions. Um, there's a lot that you can do with this play. This is kind of the most basic level thing. And I really don't like to... Um, I honestly don't really like to change any route on this play. I mean, every single route, for the most part, is going to win. The first, the one, the one route that I think is going to need the most um, talent, in my opinion, is going to be Mercedes Lewis. You'll see Mercedes Lewis is on that zig route. Now, if he plays a corner that has really, really good man-to-man -man coverage on him, like he would in the dollar three two six, not always going to get that separation, but you see, it can be a nice little secure catch. If you have the Gunslinger and Pass Lead Elite ability, I cannot stress enough that you want to be using Gunslinger on every single quarterback that you use this year. It just makes such a big difference. You'll notice that Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage to the inside. And guys, I just wanted to highlight really quickly for you, this is one of the best passing formations in the entire game. Um, this formation truly is amazing it's amazing every single year and it's really really good once again this year you're seeing these nice man align um, glitches that are just kind of very unique to this formation to be quite honest with you one of the little tricks that you can do with this and i did want to show you real quick is if they are not um if they don't have safeties over the top of their defenders basically all you're going to do you're going to take mvs put him on a streak and then all I'm going to do is motion Shepard to the left. And then I'm just going to rapid fire snap the ball. And you'll see he's going to get outside leverage and be able to get that nice little dot over the top. So it's just a couple quick tips that you can utilize with this formation that really make a big difference. So a lot of things that you can do with this. Like I said, every single route is going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. You'll see here this little quick route to the back right as he gets to the outside. Going to be up and quick for about three to five yards. Um, very, very good read. It's even better against zone coverage. If you find that they're running a lot of zone coverage, this is a snap throw. Literally just snap and throw the ball out there, and you are going to be effective 
with this route. Now, one thing you can also do, if you wanted to, you can take Shepard and put him on a fade or a streak, snap him right there, and you'll see it will create some more passing windows for you to throw these post routes and throw these dig routes um, over the middle of the field. But this is truly the, in my opinion, it's it's just it's just the fact that every single route um, pretty much gets separation against man-to-man -man coverage. The only route that's not going to get separation, in my opinion, would be Shepard's route if he gets pressed. So if they're pressing you, that's where, again, I like to say, just go ahead and motion him. It's kind of going to create it like, what I like about it is it's a motion slant, but it doesn't it doesn't get covered by the purple routes or anything like that. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to come down with their user. So again, this is a very, very simple play. There's not a whole lot to it. Other than the fact that the reads are amazing from this, this little quick route to the running back, you see it's going to create a natural mesh between the running back and the wide receiver on that left side. They're going to cross. It's going to create kind of a pick concept, pick play. You'll see if I take the running back and I put him on a wheel, uh, same kind of thing. They're going to have to come all the way from, from all the way on the other side of the formation to come over and make a play on the running back. So that's going to allow you with a lot of different opportunities um, as a passer. But all in all, guys, this play really does well against man-to-man -man coverage. You'll see every single route is going to win. The post routes really work well from this route this year. Um, I actually in particularly really, really like the route that MVS is on because what most people do is they're going to most people are going to use their one post and then go from one post to the other post. So this is going to force them to really, you know, just basically have to be wise to this. You'll see that Marquez Valdez Scantling, you'll see here, I can throw this up. And if I have enough deep route running, enough speed, I'm going to be able to get a, uh, a significant gain from that. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to highlight really, really quickly here is the same motion here. But what you'll see is Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to angle more towards the goal post. So I can just pass lead it straight up. And you see that right there. See how they're going to pick each other off? That actually really does work. Um, you're going to be able to hit either post route as they're coming across. But just let them cross. And it's basically a you know, basically a, almost like a spaceship double crossers, but instead of double crossers, it's really double post routes, and which in my opinion is actually better uh, for your offense. I don't know why Aaron Rodgers is choosing to throw the ball to the bleachers or to the other team, but um, we'll show you this real quick. So again, there's the mana line, there's the press, shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, put the two purples out there. Rodgers is going to sit in the pocket and deliver a strike to Devontae Adams um, over the middle field. So you can throw both post routes against man-to-man. -man. Like I said, every single route on this play will beat man-to-man. -man. The question is just like, at what point does it beat man-to-man -man? and understanding that. But inside pass leading, these post routes are really, really effective. I did want to show real quick before we take off, what is a smart routed version of MVS's route looks like? And you see it's basically a, what I would call a more narrow um, a deep slant. You see how it kind of wraps around? And what this is going to do a really good job of is like against, um, you know, those coverages where this is more of a late read. It's going to really give him a window that's actually a pretty deep window, as you can see right there. So what you can do, if you want to, you don't have to do this, but this is just another way of running this play. And let me show you what you can do with routes like this. Because of the stem on the route, if I motion MVS to the outside here, you're going to see that he is going to now be wrapping around deep, deep, deep in the play. So if I drop my purple zones, what you'll see is his route's going to run basically over the top of most of those purple zones. So if you have a really, really good receiver, what you might want to do, um, and we'll show you that real quick here. What you might want to do is just put, you know, someone someone pretty pretty fast there, or if you would put Devonte Adams on that side, that would be one example. But if you take a look here, like I said, this thing is going to get a really really high uh, vertical stem. You can pass lead it up, click on, and normally you can actually put this up and over a lot of the meta defenses that you're going to face. And what's interesting is a lot of people aren't going to think that you're going to be able to hit this throw. So it's going to really open up a lot of windows. Um, you'll see here, just lob it up over the top of the defense. And again, if we have a little bit more grass, you can see that this is going to be um, a pretty good option. And in fact, to show, to show this to you, I'm going to back the ball up a little bit real quick here. And we're just going to run this to the uh, wide side of the field. And again, guys, if you have not signed up 
for the texting membership. It's very, very easy to do so. All you got to do is text me. My number's in the top left corner of the screen. It's also 812-216-3644. And yes, that is my personal cell phone number, so you can text me anytime you want um, and ask any Madden questions you want. But if you want to sign up for the texting membership, all you got to do is just text me and let me know. Again, my number's up there at the top. It's in the description as well. Um, so there should be no excuse for not being able to find it. But the, the texting membership, basically what that means is we're going to, every, every single week, we are going to release a kind of an exclusive tip, a, a tip that you, we wouldn't normally release to our YouTube subscribers, and only people that are subscribed to that text mes message um, group will be able to get that. So very, very simple to sign up. All you got to do is just send me a text just to let me know. All right, so we're going to run Pat's Y out here. I don't know what 82 was on on that play. But what you'll see, oh, whoops, I think I'm in the wrong play. <laughs> Not Pat's Y out. We're going to run uh, the whip, the tight end whip. Uh, but what you'll see on this is because of the stems of this route, uh, and what it does for your offense. You'll see here, um, not tight end deep out, not any of these. Uh, tight end whip right here, yep. And I will show you what this does against the purple zone. So because the route combos on the field, um, Devontae Adams is going to get fairly, should get fairly good separation over the top. And the purple zones, even though they're shaded at like 20 yards, they're not going to be able to kind of run with him. And so as you see here, you can actually get the ball over the top. Now, again, it's not one of the things you have to understand is you do need speed. If you have a significant amount of speed, it's going to help make this route better and make it work better but again, I would highly recommend if you're going to run something like this to motion out Devontae Adams, motion out that left side guy, get him some space to be able to work. But what you'll see is right when they mesh and you can just lob it, kind of get it over the top of the zones. Um, it works really, really well for like cover two as well. But we'll show you also like, again, if, they're, if, they're, if you're facing man to man, just throw it right at that point right there. But what I did want you to see is like, let's say they run... Let's say they do something like this, and they run cover two. This will show you kind of a way around the cover two. You'll see that these little post routes are going to run kind of parallel, um, and you can actually get that in on the sideline. Uh, again, as long as Rodgers makes an accurate throw, you'll be able to hit that. But anyway, that's for another day. And then the run audible down here is actually really good. The halfback power, in my opinion, works really, really well this year. So this overall is a really, really good formation. I think it's one of the more slight. Even though it's been a good formation every single year, I feel like people are kind of sleeping on this this year. This is really, really effective this year. So anyways, just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown on this formation and how you can use it in your own scheme um, in Madden NFL 21. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to jump in the Discord if you haven't already. That link is in the description. And make sure...